Hey YouTube, this is Jay McBride and today is September 11, 2012 and today makes my week 19 post-op of VHG. Um, I welcome to my new subscribers and um, you know of course I hope that you find something beneficial uh, from my channel. Um, my highest weight was 283 pounds, day of surgery 249.5 and today I weigh in at 201.2 which is a gain of 1.2 pounds from last week. Of course, I am still fluctuating all over the place. You know, uh, Wednesday, last Wednesday, the day after I made my last video, of course, I made it to Wonderland. And I shot right back up to 201, 202. I even got as high as 203 uh, this past week. And, of course, you know, it is my food choices. Um, I, I'm trying to do better. So, like today, I did pack uh, my lunch. And today... I'm having lettuce wraps. This is a half cup. Uh, this is a one cup serving of tuna. And I also brought lettuce. So I think my downfall is um, breads, of course. I am a, a bread freak, if that's what you want to call it. And also, you know, I do always keep my handy dandy uh, ISO pure. As you can see, I've already drank a little bit. But I'm going to drink my ice up here. And also what I was thinking about. Um, I think now is the time. You know I got totally away from my shakes. I didn't want to become dependent on shakes. But I think you know instead of having my boiled eggs. This will be my office phone ringing. Instead of me having uh, boiled eggs for breakfast in the morning. I think that I am going to start doing shakes in the morning. Or either doing shakes for dinner. I'm not going to answer my phone. It's not even time for me to... Yes, it is. It's time for me to answer phones, but they'll call back. But I believe that I'm going to start doing shakes for either breakfast or shakes for dinner at night. And they're going to keep calling, y'all. Hold a second. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize for the interruption, but uh, I think I was talking about my food. So I guess I need to make... Well, I know I need to make better food choices. Um, this week I will be signing signing up for a five week boot camp. Uh, I think I well there's no need to post the link but the same people that I did the boot camp with prior to uh, my surgery they're doing another five week boot camp and I'm going to sign up and I believe they are going to help me break through uh, the 100s. You know I'm still doing um, you know my step aerobics class and I'm still doing circuit training but I think my body has gotten used to those uh, exercises uh, last week when I went to the gym you know I normally concentrate on you know uh, the elliptical and doing the treadmill however you know of course that uh, last week was my first time really getting on the um, you know the strength training uh, machines um, trying to work my arms doing and of course you know I always work my legs but you know trying to do something different it's time to totally change up my routine and I'm kind of getting bored of the uh, same routines that I'm doing other than that um, what else is going on oh I like to congratulate mrs. LTJ I think she had her surgery yesterday and also, you know, well wishes to everybody that's going in the surgery or coming out of surgery. You know, uh, enjoy your journey. Um, it's the it's the best decision that I've made. And also, I got one question from a subscriber. Uh, she asked me, was I experiencing uh, any hair loss? And the answer to that is, according to my beautician, she hasn't seen anything beyond the normal uh, head, hair shed. Like, say for instance... Uh, right now, my hair is corn rolled down, and she said you should, ex you know, expect some hair shed from it being, you know, I think I keep a quick weave for like anywhere between two to three weeks. And she said that, you know, a hundred. She said it's not uh, common to shed at least a hundred strands a day. I believe that's what she told me. But nothing that I haven't experienced anything to give me any alarm or to think that I'm going bald. You know, of course, I do have some hair thinning, and I think that is associated with uh, the PCOS that I did have. So, you know, very early on, you know, I was used to the hair shed. So, as long as there's not a big old bald spot on the top of my head, I'm not worried about it. And as long as they have hair weave, 
I never have anything to worry about. <laughs> um, who else can I shout out? I'm missing Mrs. Uh, Tito Girl. I know she's probably busy, just like I am. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm missing some of the videos. Welcome back, Mrs. Nettie Piehead. And um, what else? There's nothing else to report. So hopefully next week when I come to y'all, I'm going to break through um, this threshold. I do go on my cruise uh, October 4th. So my plan, my goal is that is a good one, two, three weeks from now. Three weeks, I should be in Wonderland and staying there. So that is my big goal. Um, of course, boot camp will start next week. I think on the 17th or the 18th. I need to go back and check my calendar. But I also try to keep you guys posted on how that goes. So you guys have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.